telemedicine software that allows for remote consultations between a doctor and a remote patient that's in, located in a remote hospital. But what this allows you to do is save uh, the time for the doctors in order to be able to see more patients in a day. Right? So what we have here is a medical cart which is equipped with various medical devices such as a vital signs monitor, you have a general examination camera and you have an autoscope as well. Um, now this, all of this is connected to a single uh, portal which the doctor also has access to who is the, sitting in a remote location. Uh, so now I'll give you an overview of the software itself. So now we have here uh, on one side of the screen is vital signs. At the same point of time you also have a video conferencing which is being done in real time with the remote doctor as well. So this allows them to be able to consult with the nurse that's available with the card to be able to use the medical devices and diagnose the patient. So now we have my colleague over here who's going to be the patient in our scenario. What we'll do is just measure uh, his vital signs. Right. Now he's just wait for a while while the machine takes his SPO2 levels. There right. you go, we have his SPO2 level that all, uh, approximately 100. This pulse being 76 and this data is now reflected in the portal. Now this data is communicated in real time to a doctor that is on the remote end itself. Right. As you can see here on the portal, the real time data is reflected. Now let's move on to the medical examination camera which can be used to examine uh, uh, let's say his eyes, uh, the veins in his eyes. Uh, or let's say skin uh, pigmentation if there is any so this allows the doctor to be able to uh, diagnose it in real time. So now we are going to move to the medical video where I'll use the examination camera to view examine his eye. There we go. We examine the eye, freeze the shot and be able to take a snapshot of this. So what the software also allows you to do is take real time snapshots of these images and be able to uh, collectively uh, save all of them and send it back to the electronic medical record system as well. All of these screenshots that are taken using the medical devices are saved into a single folder which can be viewed by the doctor as well as the nurse and all of this can then be transported to the electronic medical record system via HL7 as well. Um, and there are additional modules such as the chat feature and the notes feature which allows the doctors to prescribe something or be able to um, provide some textual information to the nurse and their motor. Right, so this provides you with a complete overview of the telemedicine software. Thank you.